Since the release of Monster the Jeffrey Dahmer story on Netflix, people are divided on the show as it was really difficult to watch. But making a show on such a sensitive and horrific case was even more difficult for the team. The series has finally arrived on Netflix and it has broken many records. The show has quickly become one of the most watched shows in the history of Netflix, with 490 million view hours in just 12 days. Those who have watched this real crime series and have seen the real people these characters are based on would know that the casting is so on point. The lead character resembles the real Jeffrey Dahmer a lot, and it makes the show even more disturbing. Recently, Evan Peters, who plays Jeffrey Dahmer, talked about his role as a heartless criminal and how he prepared for it. He said that Ryan Murphy, the writer of the series, sent him the scripts, and once he read them, he started his own research. Evan said, I immediately went to YouTube and watched the Stone Phillips interview. So I watched that and proceeded to read biographies, and I was able to read the police report and his confession. Watching interviews and documentaries on a man that ended so many innocent lives must have messed up the mind of Evan, but he still went on with it. He knew that it wasn't a traditional role and many people might even hate him for portraying such a horrible criminal, but he gave his best and it actually worked out pretty well for him. After all his research, Evan was pretty shocked that something so disturbing could actually happen. It was an eye-opener for him and for all of the viewers too, which is why the show is trending on Netflix. But with this popularity also comes criticism. And in this case, some people aren't completely on board with how Monster the Jeffrey Dahmer story portrayed the character of Jeffrey Dahmer. And some people are even questioning the point of making a show on such a terrible person. So, Evan also broke his silence on the matter and talked about how the cast and crew was always mindful of what the victims went through, and they always respected the families of the victims. It was really important for them to treat the case as respectfully as they could, because there were feelings of so many victims attached to it. One little slip and the show would have gotten huge backlash from all the communities. So, Evan revealed during his interview that the audience won't be sympathizing with Dharma after watching this Netflix series. He added, We had one rule going into this from Ryan that it would never be told from Dharma's point of view. According to Evan, the story isn't entirely about Jeffrey and his background, but it's mainly about the impact of his actions and how it affected the community as a whole. Not only this, but Rashad Robinson, the consultant of Monster the Jeffrey Dharma's story also spoke about the matter during an interview. He said that he wanted to show how the media, police and leadership of that time played their part in all the crimes Dharma committed. Rashad said that they wanted to let people know how so many lives were taken by Jeffrey and how so many dreams were shattered. He said that he wanted to talk about the human side of the victims and their families other than portraying them as just names or photos. Apart from criticism, the Jeffrey Dharma story is being appreciated for its acting. Evan Peters took a dive into the psyche of this criminal who ended the lives of 17 men, and he brought the show closer to reality. But while making it, Evan wasn't very comfortable. He confessed this in an interview. Honestly, I was very scared about all the things that he did and diving into that. Trying to commit to that was absolutely going to be one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life, because I wanted it to be very authentic. The actor also said that he had to go to dark places of Dharma's character and stay there throughout the shooting period to actually feel what he felt, and it was very difficult. Evan said, that they had to keep the mood on the set a little light during the horrific scenes because as he was filming the scenes every day, it was easier for him to somehow get lost into this character. So the crew constantly reminded him of why they were making this show and how it's going to give a representation to the victims. His co-stars also helped him a lot to get through some of the most disturbing scenes that he had to film. Richard Jenkins, playing the character of Dharma's father, talked to the press before the release of the series and said, Ryan used to be a journalist and it's really thorough. An investigation not just of Dharma, but the damage that he caused to the victims and their families and to his parents. He said that it was really disturbing for him to play the father of a character like Jeffrey Dharma, but if you've seen the show, you know how real he made it seem. He surely understood the psyche of Dharma's father and portrayed the silent pain of someone who can't do anything to make things right. Moreover, Nisi Nash, who plays the character of Glenda Cleveland, has also talked about making of the show and how they decided to dedicate a huge part of the show to Glenda as she actually did a lot in real life, but no one knows a lot about her. Even the actress playing Glenda said that she never really knew that a woman named Glenda constantly reported Dharma to the police in real life, and no one really listened to her for so long. She said in her interview, a very pivotal moment was to play Glenda Cleveland when she had to go into that church and see the family of this baby 
baby she tried to help. It was obviously difficult for Nisi to play the role of Glenda because of all the things she experienced. She knew that something bad was going to happen, she did everything in her power, and yet she was unable to save the victims. It was the feeling of helplessness that Nisi felt while doing the church scene. She pictured the family actually crying for their son, and she knew that it could have all been prevented if only the police had listened. Netflix shared this interview on their official page to share how important and difficult the role of Glenda was. Even though she came out all of this alive, playing her still was a very painful and difficult experience for Nisi. When it comes to the making of the show, a lot of videos have been resurfaced in which the crew is shooting the scenes. In one of the footage, Evan is in his Jeffrey attire and he's coming out of a mall and the camera is still rolling. He looks very plain and hardly has any expression on his face, but that's what they wanted to achieve as Dharma was also pretty aloof in real life. With the constant need to portray the character of an authentic serial criminal, Evan and the rest of the cast was obviously under a lot of pressure. However, they also had fun shooting the show. Penelope Miller, playing the character of Dharma's mother, shared some unseen photos on her Instagram, where we could see her posing with Evan. She captioned the photos with, I beyond loved working with him, and even though Jeffrey and Joyce Dharma had a strained and complex relationship in the true story, we secretly wished we had more to do together. In another post, Penelope gave a shout out to the hairstylist of the series, who gave her the exact long bob that Dharma's mother had back in the day. The stylist was responsible for all the looks she had throughout the show and they looked quite close to real. Penelope also posted a picture where she's posing with Richard Jenkins, and we could see all the wigs in the background that were used on set. Besides, the hairstylist on the series also posted pictures of Evan on Instagram and talked about how the sun-kissed blonde hair were perfect for the character. The pictures show Evan's hair in the making, and they surely looked very similar to that of Jeffrey's. Shaysen Ford Fong, the stylist on the show, also shared pictures of the very disturbing prosthetic from the last episode. In the photo, we could see the team creating prosthetics with one side of the head damaged by an injury. The prop is from the last scene where Christopher Scarver ends Jeffrey's life in prison. Aside from what Evan and Nisi said in official Netflix interviews, the cast hasn't spoken to the press about the series. Media wasn't even granted access to the preview of the Jeffrey Dahmer story, and there was no premiere either. So it might have been an attempt of Netflix to avoid all kinds of controversy until the series was released, and it succeeded too, as the real crime series is trending on top of the streaming platform. Platform. Netflix, or even the cast of the show, haven't posted a lot of pictures from behind the scenes, which means Netflix wanted the release of the show to be a mystery until they decided to finally launch it on the platform. The reason for not coming up with behind the scenes might be because Netflix also wanted to treat the show with immense respect, as it's such a sensitive topic that anything can spark backlash. The show surely is disturbing to watch, but we can only imagine how difficult it would have been for the cast to actually film. Most people have left the show halfway, as it feels really triggering to them, but everyone in the cast had to stick to it till the very end. So, have you watched Monster the Jeffrey Dahmer Story on Netflix? Tell us in the comments section below, and thanks for watching.